What up, Salty Crew, and welcome back to another video. I'm coming in hot with a grocery haul. I know you guys love those. I asked, asked on my Instagram the other day, if you're not following me on there, make sure you do, what type of videos you wanna see from me next, and so many people said hauls. So here we are. I'm doing an H Mart haul, which is my absolute favorite grocery store of all time. It is my Disney World. I love it. It's clean, it's pristine. The options of food that they have there is just unmatched. I'm obsessed. I'm the classic white girl that roams the aisles and just oohs and ahs at all the fun different things that you can buy there. <laughs> That's me. So I wanted to show you what I got there today. But before we get started, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure you hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I post a new video. I'm kind of stressing that this top is like low key see through. I really hope it's not. I've been walking around with it all day. If it is, you're welcome. Okay, let's get started. Uh, first things first, I always go to the Asian market, H Mart specifically for the mushrooms. I'm a beach mushroom girl myself. I love these little babies. They're so cute. They look like they're from Alice in Wonderland. Um, it looks like something you would find growing out of a moist patch of grass. They're delicious. They're like these cute little cartoonish mushrooms. They go amazing in soup. The other day I put them in Tom Ka soup. By the way, um, I showed a recipe of Tom Ka soup that is to die for. It's on my TikTok. Make sure you follow me on there because I'm posting more on there and I'm going to be posting exclusive recipes on there as well. So anyway, H Mart or really any Asian grocery store, they have all the mushrooms. So I like going there for oyster mushrooms, oyster mushrooms too, uh, king trumpet mushrooms, which look like big dicks. <laughs> Those are great for like vegan scallops. Oh, there's just so many good kinds there. They have like li fresh lion's mane. I can't think of any other. Oh, they have these enoki mushrooms that are like the really skinny tiny ones that go really good in like brothy soups. Anyway, moving on, I also got, oh my gosh, this was so exciting. I got this uh, thing of soy milk. It is organic, unsweetened, and it just looks so creamy and delicious. I mean, look at this. You can't really see it. I might insert a little B-roll clip of me pouring it, but I cannot wait to make my matcha latte with this baby. Oh, I also got this giant tray of mangoes. These are my favorite type of mangoes, the small ones. I think they're called like Alfonso mangoes or something like that. I literally just peel them like a banana and just eat them straight up. So good. I also got a little sliver of a jackfruit, which I'm so pumped because I hear it tastes like juicy fruit gum and that's literally what it smells like. I've never had it fresh before. I've only had it canned um, and I've made tons of different recipes with it, but I'm excited to try it fresh because fresh, it's really sweet. God, it smells so freaking good. Oh, I found all these really fun drinks. Uh, we have a passion fruit soda, a honeydew soda, and strawberry guava. Ooh, these look so good. And they're not seltzer, they're like full-blown sugar attack. Um, I also got a bunch of jalapenos because I'm testing a recipe for Super Bowl, for a Super Bowl video, which I'm super excited about. Oh, I love a jalapeno. Have you guys seen that TikTok trend where I saw Lizzo do it and a couple other people where you cut the top of the jalapeno off, you take out the seeds and then you fill it with cream cheese and then you put in Takis and you eat it. It's actually really fucking good. <laughs> it's really good. And it's not as spicy as you would think because you remove all the seeds from the uh, jalapeno. So it's really not bad. But if you like a little spice in your life, uh, get some Kite Hill cream cheese and some Takis and a jalapeno and go to town, honey, because it's delicious. I also got some bay leaves, bay leaves, because I ran out. Um, these are just good for like soups and broths and anything you want to, uh, I don't know what I'm saying. I also got lime leaves, which I've been obsessed with ever since I made Tom Ka soup. It's the secret ingredient that makes, that differentiates like home cooked Asian food to like restaurant quality Asian food. You need a lime leaf. Oh my God, they're so good. They give a really amazing, well-rounded lime flavor without it being too citrusy. It's hard to explain, but it's like, very pungent. I don't know. They're like the Asian version of a bay leaf. Oh, they're so freaking good. Um, I also got <clears throat> this rice seasoning. It's a 
furukake or whatever. Um, it's great on rice, obviously, sushi, sushi bowls, any sort of like ricey Asian dish that you make. Really delicious stuff. Um, it does have sugar in it, sugar, sesame seeds, seaweed. Um, speaking of seaweed, I have been obsessed with roasted seaweed. So I love getting these at the Asian market because they don't play fucking games. I get a, an entire pack, I get like three or four of these, and they come, uh, there's four different packs of roasted seaweed in one of these. And in each pack, there's like five sheets of nori. And it's roasted to perfection. It's like slightly oily, salty. Ooh, it's just the perfect salty snack. I have it with like a bubbly seltzer water and a squeeze of lime juice. And then I got this giant thing of peeled garlic because your girl is a garlic girl. I gotta say, that's the brand of this uh, peeled garlic. I am a garlic girl through and through. I put so so much of it in literally everything I cook, four or five cloves at least. Um, and then I got, I have been looking for these forever. So I've been experimenting with making pad CU at home because it's one of my favorite things to get at a Thai restaurant. And I've been really into making Thai food at home. And so I wanted to find the wide rice noodles that you would use to make pad CU. And they're so hard to find, like I was just, looking for them in like the dry noodle section and honey that's not what you need to do you need to get the fresh rice noodles that are already cooked and you cut them yourself so if you look at anyone who makes pad CU, like on youtube or like a blog or somewhere they talk about this and i had no idea that this was a thing man what else did i get oh i got um this giant thing of brown rice because your girl is running out and then i got this head of butter lettuce, organic. Is that it? I also got a thing of gloves because cutting jalapenos is a spicy job. I also got this peeling foot mask and I don't know about you, but I love a foot mask and it's glorious. Like your skin comes off in leather thickness. It's so thick, it's amazing. Oh, obsessed with it. I really hope this works as well as the one that I got on Amazon. Hopefully it will, stay tuned. And the lady working in like this section of the store also gave me a free little coconut face mask. Anyway, that is my H Mart haul. Let me know if you want any more grocery hauls like this. I know it was a quick little ditty, but sometimes short and sweet is nice, you know? And comment down below and let me know if you are as enthusiastic and passionate about Asian food markets as I am, because it's a true love of mine. Thank you guys so much for tuning in this week. Don't forget to take care of yourself, eat good food, and I will see you in the next one. Diet Coke ain't good for the soul. Give me that, give me that orange soda. Give me a grape like you see in the movies. Bubble to the top like a smoothie, you'll see. I'll do you like a nine to five. 